All right, we're on question two for our worksheet for 2.4. So suppose that C has 10 elements, D has five, C union D has 12, and we want to find how many elements are in set C intersect D. So let's kind of write down with that new notation we learned what these different things represent. So the number of elements in C is 10. The number of elements in D is 5. The number in C union D is 12. And then we want to find what is the number in C intersect D. So this is how many. So we have to think through um, how to represent this. Now, one of the nice things we learned was a formula that combined all of those things into an equation. So if we remember what that formula was, it said, well, if I wanted to find the number of things in a union, so like the number in C union D, we took the number in each, so the number in C added together plus the number in D, but then we had to subtract off the amount that we overcounted. Remember, there are certain numbers that we counted too many times. So the number in C plus the number in D minus the number in both, which is C intersect D. So notice these are um, all the different pieces that we know some of those pieces, and we have to try and find the other piece. So we know that the number in C is 10. The number in D is 5, the number in the union is 12, and we don't yet know the number in the intersection. So we're trying to find that number in the intersection. And then really at this point, it's just about figuring out what number fits there to make this equation work. So notice we've got 12 equals 10 plus 5 is 15 minus something. So then we can just think about, well, what do you have to subtract from 15 to get 12? And so we see that the number in C intersect D would have to be 3. You have to take away 3 from 15 in order to get 12. So there must be three elements in the intersection.